Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into an essential topic for clean, efficient code in Roblox Studio, module scripts. So if you're tired of cluttered code and want to make your game more scalable and organized, then this video is for you. We'll learn what module scripts are, why they're useful, and how they can make your game code more modular, reusable, and easier to manage as your game grows. So, let's get started. First, let's create a simple module script. Head over to Replicated Storage, click the plus button, and insert a module script. I'm going to rename mine to be Player Manager. Now by default, Roblox gives us a basic template for our module. Every module script returns a table at the bottom, which acts as the container for our functions and variables. So, let's create a simple function inside this module that welcomes a player when they join the game. But instead of using module, I'm going to say player manager. And we need this to match down at the bottom as well. And inside our module, we will say function player manager. We need to say at the beginning uh, the name of the module and then we will say the name of our function and we will pass through a player and then we're just simply going to print welcome to the game comma space player dot name and that is it for our module script. Now, how do we actually use this in our game? Because if we press play, that print message is not calling. It's because this module script, we can put all the code we want to in here, but it's not gonna run by default. We need to load it into another script. So let's go to our server script service and let's add in a script. I'm gonna call this module loader script let's get rid of this print hello world and we'll say local player manager equals require this is how we load a module script we use require and then we just go to our replicated storage which let's cache that in the line above so we'll say local replicated storage equals game get service replicated storage. And then right here, we will say replicated storage. We need to find our module script, which is, uh, we will say wait for child and we will say player manager. And that's it. Now we've got our player manager. We've got this module loaded and we can now use it by simply well hang on let's hook it up to a player uh, so let's grab our player service and we will say players dot player added colon connect and we will pass through a function that passes through the player press enter and so now we can call that function we wrote in our module script by simply saying player manager which is the name of our module and then this is the name of the function welcome player and then we just pass through uh, this player into that function and that's it if we press play now it should say welcome to the game duck hive or welcome to the game whatever your username is next let's talk about breaking down our code into different modules this approach is super helpful as your game gets larger because instead of writing all the code in one place you can split up responsibilities into separate module scripts for example, we could create a separate module just for managing player inventories. So in replicated storage, let's create another module script. 
and I'm going to call this one inventory manager. Let's rename the module to be inventory manager. And in the module, we're going to add in a function called inventory manager dot add item. And we will pass through both a player and an item for this function. And we're simply just going to use a print, another print statement. So in this module, we have a function called add item, which will add an item to the player's inventory. Now, just like before, we'll call this module in our server script. So let's go back to our server script, our module loader script, and let's load in our inventory manager module. And once we have it loaded, we simply can like before with the player manager, just say inventory manager and then the name of the function we want to call. And we are passing through a player and we'll just make up a sword. And now if we hit play, it'll say welcome to the game DuckHive as well as added sword to DuckHive's inventory. This way, we're keeping our code clean and organized by separating out different responsibilities. So why are modules so important for larger games? Well, as your game grows, your code can become hard to manage if it's all in one place. Module scripts allow you to reuse code across multiple places, making your game more scalable. For example, instead of duplicating player management code in different scripts, we can just call our player manager module whenever we need it. This reduces code duplication and makes debugging easier because each module handles just one part of the game. Now, let's take things a step further. Modules can also store and manage data, like game states. Let's create a game manager module that stores the state of the game, like whether the game is waiting or in progress. So go to your replicated storage, click the plus button, and add in another module script. I am going to name this game manager and like before rename uh, the module itself to also be the name of the script which is game manager so inside of our game manager module let's create a variable for our game state and this will be waiting by default. And let's create a function uh, to start the game. So we say function game manager dot start game. We are not passing through anything. And we'll simply just say game state equals in progress. And then we will print game state is now and then we just grab our game state and that's it for that function but we want to get one more function for getting the game state for returning the game state so we can access the game state from other scripts so we just say function game manager dot get state We're not passing through anything and then we just want to return our game state variable. Now we have two functions, start game, which changes the game state to in progress, and get state, which returns the current state. Let's use this in our server script. So go over to your server script and you need to load in the module for uh, the game manager. So this will be game manager equals require replicated storage colon wait for child game manager and then we will call those two functions right here uh, whenever we load in our player so we simply just say game manager dot start game and then we're going to print current game state 
dot dot and then we will return the game manager function get state and if we hit play it should say game state is now in progress and we've got a current game state in progress before we wrap up let's go over some best practices for using module scripts one single responsibility each module script should handle one specific task keep your modules focused two balance don't overuse modules for every tiny function find the right balance between readability and modularity three global versus local only expose modules in replicated storage if both the client and the server need access sensitive game logic should stay on the server so if only a server needs a module put it in the server storage and that is it for this tutorial on module scripts by breaking down your game into modules you'll be able to write cleaner more scalable code that's easier to manage as your game grows if you found this video helpful please be sure to give it a like subscribe for more roblox tutorials and leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas for future videos thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one